Okay, so um, we've now got to create another one of these ceiling joist families, one that's only got three nodes. We need one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Those one, two, three, four, five. And they've only got three nodes across them. Yeah. So let's go about doing that. Now if we scroll down till we find the one that we've just created, that we've already put in there, down under generic models, you can see how it's called Family 11. Okay, that's what it was called before. Now if I switch windows back to there, I can see that Family 11 is still open. Now I'm going to break the link between those two things. I'm going to rename this now and I'm going to call it something like Ceiling Joist, um, let's say Ceiling Joist 5, uh, because it's got five and it's controlled with five nodes. So if I click out of that now, each one of these now is called Ceiling Joist 5. Um, and that's broken the link to the other open window, which if I go to switch windows here, it's Family 11. So the ceiling joist 5 is loaded back into my project right now. I've opened this one up called Family 11. So I'm going to adjust this one so it's just got three nodes at the bottom. So I'll delete one of those and delete the other one there. Just check the numbering. They look like they are. Yep, I've still got everything else created there. Yeah, yeah that's number two. There, but anyway, it, it is number two. And, uh, just check that that's still working. So I can flex that down with the blue axis, and yes, it's obviously working as a spline still. So that's very good. Um, and I've so I've instantly, yeah, the numbering is one, two, yeah, and three, and we go back to four and five. So we've got to know the numbering sequence that it goes into our model with. Okay, so we've got our, our five adaptive points in here. Okay, so it's called Family 11. Now, there's no Family 11 back in the project because I've just renamed it. So if I load this back in, I've now got one called Family 11 that's just got these three nodes. So I might as well start trying to place these as we go here. First point. And then the next point. And then the third one. And then go back to the start at the top. And the other end. And we've placed our first one with three points. So just um, do the next one here. Catch up with me. bit hard to follow what's going on here at the moment. Try it again. Okay, that's right. Hmm, it's finding it it's finding itself hard to sort of catch up with my mouse. Those points there, no one through here, start back again. Oh okay, something's gone wrong there. I've gone put that in as a wrong shape. All right, okay, let's um, let's escape out of that and delete that one. Um, look, while I'm here, I'll go down and find Family 11. Is that when it is, it's still called Family 11? And if we scroll down to uh, Generic Models. There we are, Generic Models. Uh, there's the one called Family 11. Yeah, if I just right-click on that and rename that one, uh, we'll call that one uh, Ceiling Joist, and it's controlled with three nodes, so Ceiling Joist 3. I could continue to uh, put them in my model. Okay, so I've got Ceiling Joist 5 with the three different types of uh, thicknesses. Let's try and put these back in there now. Oh, of course, um, hang on. I'm I'm putting ceiling joist 5 in here so you'll see this won't work when I go back and I'll, this will show you what's happened, what 
happens when you don't put the right family in with the right number of nodes in the right sequence. I was thinking that I was putting in ceiling joist 3, but I actually clicked on ceiling joist 5 for that. And thinking that that goes in, it still wants me to put more nodes in because it's not finished that particular family. So we'll just hop out of that. We'll stop that video there and we'll show you the finished product soon.